another travel vlog for you so you can watch it. So right now we're in Brooklyn Bow Part 2. We're going to do kayaking. We give you a sneak peek in the first one. So you might as want to check out the first one which you want to hold ready. And right now we're at the Beaver's Bend. The pot river floats. It, it's basically a place where you can just do some mini golfing and some kayaking or there has some other boats like kayaking, pedal boats and there's also the boat that you stand on and do it. I don't know the name of that. But and then they also have canoes and you gotta pay to have parking. So you gotta pay for that. And then this is a cool place. So you gotta pay. It's like a rental. You don't get a keep a boat that I don't know who will let you keep a boat from a public place. So you gotta pay ten dollars for a kayak and a paddle boat. We use both of them and it's per hour. And as you can see the paddle boats have four seating. Two on the back and two on the front. We didn't do the two on the back because we didn't bring extra clothes. And you can also bring your own boat and do it there. So that would be free. You don't have free. So if it's really deep there, so you gotta wear a life jacket. You can also swim there. It's your choice if you want to swim or not because we didn't swim because you know we didn't have extra clothes. We did not know that they would be swimming and would get wet. So we forgot to bring the clothes. If we knew this, we would have swam. So we didn't swim, and it was really fun. First, the pedal boats, it was so hard, our feet were hurting so much. Rhea didn't even do it, she just sat there. <laughs> my dad did all the work, and both of me and my mom did the work on my boat. So we got really tired of doing it, so we changed to kayaking because we're like, our feet are gonna break if we do this for like an hour, because every time you pay $10, that's for one hour. This place is safeguard kids, so you don't have to be scared or anything. And Ray is looking at you, and now she's not because the camera is down, and she's looking at you again. It was it was really hot that day, so we didn't have to put our jacket like it would be in the winter. So it was really hot. So it's really hot, and it's better to go in it's on a hot day because it will be more useful when you go swimming because the water is really cold. And do you know how I know it's cold? When he, when I did the pedal boat, I stopped, but then my mom, when my mom was pedaling a little bit, the water splooshed on my side, and then I'm like, ah, it's freezing. And then it dried over like 20 minutes. Yeah, when we started kayaking, we, pad we did the pedal boat for about like 20 to 30 minutes, and then we did the kayaking because our feet hurt. I don't even think we would have done it for 30 minutes. I think you would have done those like 15 minutes, I guess. Because it hurt so much. There's little fish and there's some turtles. And you might see an alligator, but I don't really know if there actually is some. But you might. And there's lots of trees here. And I don't know. It's water. And then there's like a big cliff over there. I don't know if you can see it, but we'll go close to it and show you that. So you can just check that out. And some people are jumping off the cliff and jumping inside the water. I thought that would be fun to do, but we were not allowed to go there because you know, safe. When you go more near the cliff, you're going to find some trees in the middle of the water. So as you can see, they're just lying in the middle of the water. And also near the trees, there's some rocks that you can climb on. Now they climb on, they're not like they're under the water. Do you know how I know there's rocks when I was pedaling on the kayak? Something hit the hit the thing. I thought it was an alligator when I looked inside it was rocks. Like, why is rocks here? Who threw who skipped this much rocks? And then I realized the whole place was rocks. I'm like, uh oh. And the kayak started to hit the bottom like crazy. And then I had to push me and my mom pushed the kayak up with the handles to get past that place. <laughs> And some people are even walking near the trees. The trees are just lying in the middle of the water with these roots under and some of them on top. That place is really cool, so you can check that out. So now we're going near the tree. So it'll happen in a few seconds. And yeah, the tree, look, you see it, right? It's right there in the middle of the water, just lying there, right there, it's alive, and it's beautiful with some acorns. Top. 
I bet there's a squirrel in the middle of the water. Imagine if there was a, there was a squirrel. Like, I am stuck on the island of the one tree that produces me acorns and all my food. That would be weird to see a squirrel sitting in the middle of the water. I don't even know how a squirrel would swim. I don't know if squirrels can swim, but if I know, I'll tell you guys. Okay, so now, I can't believe we actually made that far with the pedal boat. Okay, we took a small break at that place, and so I was pedaling because our feet really hurt. So, we just took a small like, two-second break there, and then we went. So we really liked it. The pedal boat had like, a small sunroof, so it's still really hot that day. We didn't get that hurt hot because of this roof. On the pedal boat, the kayaks don't have that. Well, that's sad. I don't know why kayaks would have that because they're open. And if they did, they would have flip over. So the paddle, the pedal boats just have that, and then as you know, there's trees in the middle of the water. talking about uh yeah you see that cliff over there that's the one i was talking about you had to pet you had to go on the boat to that cliff climb on top of it and then jump inside you only do that if you know swimming we went back to the main area because we got tired so we got a kayak as you can see you can see my sister and my dad with the kayak over there we just returned it and then got a kayak instead so we came back with that We all returned our kayaks, no, not our kayaks, we returned our pedal boats and got kayaks. Kayaking was really relaxing and kind of fun, so we loved it. As you can see, we are trying to do it. <laughs> we tried. So, kayaking, it's really pretty fun and kind of easy, but if you do it one, if you're the first, if you're doing it for the first time, you pedal one side, you think it's going to go that side, but it goes the other side, you're like, there's no gear over there! And then, just so you know, if you want to turn, you got to do the kayaking on just one side, and when you do that, it goes the opposite side. If you want to go forward, you got to do one side and the other side. Make sure the other person behind you is doing the different, the opposite way. If you're doing what, if you're doing left, they have to do right. That only your kayak is going to go forward. And plus, they also have single kayaks. You can also check that out if you're not that much of a, you know, you're a lonely person. So they have lots of boats. It's really fun. Make sure you check that out. I'll see you at the end of the video. Bye. We returned our boat, and now we're going to the Brooklyn Bowl Lake, which has a dam. Also. We ate our dinner there. As you can see, it's very beautiful and there's some big hills that are near the lake. It was very beautiful. The lake is gonna come in two seconds. And this is the lake. It's so beautiful. It was pretty big. And they had a few islands in the middle. Like they're pretty big, big circles of land in the middle of the lake. I don't know how they got in there, but I have to know why, how islands a very big lake they have um, a sunset crew you gotta check the website for that so I'm just letting you know as you can see the boat was over there and then there's a small small block for Honor who helped build the lake and I really wish I got on the cruise but since the corona we didn't go on the cruise if we did we would have went in due to the rain the mean rain that showered on us made us not go so that was pretty sad Still, 
Now, as you can see, the raindrops is coming. Raindrops, and there's also some small, like small streams when you're riding back home from Brooklyn Bowl to Dallas. So we went. We came in summer, so they had a lot of summer activities. So that's what we did. And if you come in, it's mainly known for its fall colors. So it's better to come in fall. It's, it's a good place for all times, but I don't think winter would be a good time because I don't know if there's fall colors during winter and I don't know if the activity goes good. So make sure to come and I'll see you at the end of the video. sunset that looks pretty cool and if you loved our video make sure to subscribe and click that thumbs up button bye see you in the next video bye bye bye